Premium castle skins, when they were first added to the game, were only obtainable through the castle roulette event as seen here, and the way you'd get them through this event is you'd have to spin the wheel through these books, which you can get through various means. You can get packs to buy them through black diamonds. You can buy an almost unlimited amount through black diamonds for a conversion of 10 black diamonds per book of holy prayers, and then you can get a maximum of 10 through free-to-play means per event free from gold, and seven free diamonds every time this event is up. And then you'd spin the wheel with your books, and for every time you spin, you can potentially get a permanent skin which changes and varies depending on uh, which event it is. Historically, it's been the most recent release, however, there hasn't been too much new. This is actually the first variation of this Black Stag's Anger March skin, I believe. But every time you spin, you will get a seven-pointed star, and then you can convert them into a castle of your choosing, which is the point of this video. So it will cost, on average, 10,000 black diamonds to get a thousand of these seven-pointed stars to be able to get one of these premium castle skins. So there are certain ways of making that a bit cheaper. Of course, there's the free-to-play ones you can get, as I've shown here. These do get discounted to five black diamonds per at certain seasonal events, so for example Black Friday we've recently had, and I think Christmas as well maybe, it went down to 5 black diamonds each, so it would only, in inverted commas, be 5,000 black diamonds to get uh, one of these premium castle skins, and you can of course discount these packs, if I show it in here, you can see however at their base values, uh, they are effectively more expensive in terms of black diamonds before coupons after this first tier. So the first tier is the same. It's 10 black diamonds per because you get 10 for 100. Then it goes to 15 for 200 and then 35 for 500 and 60 for 1000. So if you got this 1000 pack for say 500 instead, that would be slightly better than the base 10 you'd normally be trading in to get every one book, but it will tend to be more expensive through doing that, and also coupons aren't of unlimited availability, of course. They're, they're quite limited in how many you can use, especially the high-value ones like Honor Token and such, especially at those higher Black Diamond values. So premium castle skins has always been a very premium part of spending, and they've always been very important because it's quite a or realistically the primary way of getting passive army size to a large degree. There are, of course, other ways through, like, leadership and uh, your Sapphire Dragons level, which will increase its uh, agile, of course. As that will go up in stages, you'll get more passive army size, stuff like that. But a lot of these castle skins uh, will have passive army size on them, so, like, Stars, uh, Revival, Icebound, Ancient Vow, there's a lot of them that have this passive army size, and of course that army size will then get multiplied up with army size increase scrolls, and that's how you start seeing whales sending uh, 2 mil solo marches. But there have been some new ways, or at least more efficient ways, uh, of sourcing these skins that have been added into the game since I last made videos on these topics. So here we have the deer event, and you can get seven of these for 3,000 deers. Now in Black Stag's Anger, as it's currently called, the Castle Roulette, there are 10 of these, and the only ones you cannot find in the deer event will be the main PvP ones, which are Drowned God, uh, City of Stars, and Sunken City. So these are going to be the ones you mostly want to PvP in. They have the best PvP passives, and a lot of the others are mostly bought for their passive army size whilst people use other things. Of course, another important part of this is now Castle Awakening. So I only have one SS castle, but you can see the more you have the passive stats or the active stats of your SS castle of choice will increase. So getting more SS castles will have value through that. And it will, of course, also 
make it available to be awakened as well. So it opens up an avenue to get a ton more passive stats that you wouldn't otherwise have unless you actually upgrade or unlock these uh, premium castle skins. So people have historically always got some of their premium castle skins through the deer event, but in recent times they've added both more and more of the newer releases in here and made them easier to get through that, but they've also added a two limit to all progressions of the love and peace pack, which if you go back here, ba -ba -ba -ba, dears, if you fully buy out this pack for two tiers on every way through, you will get almost exactly 3,000 dears, which will let you buy, of course, any of these, where is it? Any of these premium castle skins. So you, you'll need a little bit more, which you can source from other packs, of course. But this will put about an average value of the full progression of this pack for unlocking one of those castle skins. So here, that will be 3,520 black diamonds. So if we go to a wordpad doc, we have the castle roulette will be 1,000 BD. 10,000 BD, I'm sorry. And then Deer Event will be, let me scroll this down, uh, about 3,600 BD. So you can see that the difference is massive. You can almost get free premium castle skins uh, through the Deer Event in the same cost as the Castle Roulette. Obviously, this isn't a perfect science because you will get other useful stuff through the spins in the in the roulette event as well. But on the same note, you will get 190 epics and almost 300k diamonds from buying these packs out. The, this diamond value does include what you get for buying the packs, by the way, it isn't just the items. So that sort of mitigates the loss of what you're going to get here, but there is... Uh, when this gets cut down to five black diamonds per purchase, this will gain value in comparison because you can go to a thousand stars and on those a thousand spins get so many awakening essences. So we can specify that here too. Uh, 5,000 BD if discounted to five BD per book during Black Friday, etc. So the value gets closer there, but even still, it will be cheaper, even uh, the best case scenario for the Castle Roulette to buy premium castles through the Deer event. The other way of getting them now is through the recruitment uh, exterior shop. So there are now exterior redemption orders, which you can source through a few means. Where is it? So Every time you buy the 100 Black Diamond Recruitment Pass, the 90th stage will give uh, 1,500 of these, which means you'd have to buy that 10 times across 10 entire months to be able to get Keep of Kings or City of Titans. But again, these both have passive army size and will add to the amount of SS skins you can both awaken and to increase the pass or the active stats of what you're currently using. So these will be very valuable too. If we go back to a WordPad document, that will be Truman Pass equals 1000 BD across 10 months, which is a long time. And I'm guessing if you're looking to spend these amounts, you probably don't want to wait 10 months. The other way you can do it is you can speed the process up by buying um, Westeros Choice Packs, if I can find that. So here, these will primarily be bought for the SS medals. It's one of the best ways of improving your SS troop appearances in the game. So it'll be 200 black diamonds for this. It'll be 200 per 300 uh, castle exterior redemption tokens there. So that can be used to, to sort of speed this up. As a rough example, you could do it in five months as uh, five months of recruitment passes. So that would be five months of that. 
equals 7,500 plus 25 buys of 300 for 200 BD, which will also be uh, 7,500. So that will give you the 15K you need, and that would be uh, 5.5K BD, I think. Yeah, I think my maths are right there. Yeah? 25 times 200 is 5,000 plus the 500, yeah. So 5.5k for a five month grind of it, which isn't great, but it sort of helps you visualize how that cost will change if you try and rush it, which is sort of what I'm trying to, trying to show there. So the most efficient way of buying these will for sure be through the Deer event. This uh, Love and Peace pack is by far and away the best way you can unlock these. If you're going for the passive army size and awakening like stat funneler ones at least. Of course, if you are going for your first one, you're probably still at this point going to want Sunken City as the best one. And you're going to have to go through the castle roulette through that. Hopefully it gets added to the deer event long term. But we just don't know, I guess. Until that does happen, the deer event will for sure want to be your main way of sourcing these castle skins in the game.